Howdy, AP Precal. We are looking at um, the two sections, uh, 113 and 114. Um, I found these notes from some AP guru type people, kind of typed it up a little differently, um, but I didn't get a ton of practice. Anyway, we'll see how we'll see how this goes. So they want us to basically look at function models and make assumptions about them and figure out from data tables and all this kind of stuff. The warm up is not worth me making a video, so um, yeah, go practice that. But the next one, so some, sometimes they'll give us situations where it's a geometric model. So they're telling us a deck is placed around a rectangular pool. Okay, so here's our rectangular pool. The length of the pool is three times the width. So length equals three W, here is W, which would actually be equal to a third of the length. Okay, and then they tell us the deck will be two feet wide along the length of the pool. Okay, so two feet wide along the length, to me, means that we take this rectangle and I don't know, the, uh, wow, that's terrible. Okay, this width is two, this width is two. I didn't draw it to scale, I'm so sorry. Then that it'll be three feet wide on either end. So this is gonna be three feet here, this is gonna be three feet here. So this total distance, so this total new width, the width of the total thing would be, well, the width plus two on this side plus two more here. So this is W plus four. Or if you're writing it in terms of L, this would be equal to a third of L plus four. The other one going this way, well, here's three W, and now I've had it to add three this way and three this way. So this side would be three W plus six, which could also be written as L plus six. Okay, and you're like, Ms. Kosh, why are you doing both in terms of W and an L? Well, because they started writing, they, we, it's very easy, in my opinion, to write this in terms of the width. But then the questions talk about write the quadratic polynomial to model the total area of the pool and deck in terms of the length of the pool. Well, that's a little more annoying. Okay. So um, I think in my answer key, what I started doing is I would say a, um, a total, and I put a little T there, in terms of W would be equal to, well, the total would be, this is W plus 4 for the base, so this is a rectangle, so it's base times height, and then the other one is this. So we're finding the total area of everything. Um, and so that can clean up to 3w squared uh, plus 12w plus 6 is plus 18w plus 24, if I FOIL that out. Um, I thought that was easier to work with, but I did not answer the question. So they said in terms of the length, so I need to do a the area, the total area in terms of L, and that would be equal to 1 third L plus 4 times L plus six. If I FOIL that out, I get one third L squared. This is four L, that's two L, so that's plus six L plus 24. Okay, um, and then they want us to, to give us a quadratic, they want us to give them a quadratic polynomial to model the area of the deck. So basically we have to take this total area and subtract out the pool. Well, the pool, if we're in terms of the, the pool, so we could say the area of the pool in terms of w, would just be w times 3w, so 3w squared. The area of the pool in terms of length would be um, 1 third l times l, so it's 1 third l squared. Okay. Yes. So then this one, they want us to find the area of the deck in terms, of, so the deck is going to be the entire, the total, minus the pool. So if we're doing um, the area of the deck in terms of length, it would be this mess right here minus this mess. Notice these things cancel. And so we're just left with 6L plus 24. Okay, the width of the pool can be no more than 20 feet. So W can be, and, and it doesn't make sense for it to be, I would argue it doesn't make sense to be zero because you've done nothing if you have a pool with width zero. Um, but a zero, or excuse me, a reasonable domain the domain of the, um, the area function is going to be, um, well, it depends on if we're talking in terms of W or in terms of L. If the W is, um, let's, let's use this previous, they kept us using this um, in terms of L. So I would say we can't B is equal to zero because then you don't have a pool at all. And then the width, if the width is 20, then that means the length is gonna be 60. So I would say that a reasonable domain would be from zero to 60. Um, 
ish for the for the excuse me <coughs> for the L values um, maybe yeah and then what I'd probably do oh sorry something got in my throat in my range I would probably do something like well the area would be um, if I plugged in 60 for my L I'd have, um, well, that's kind of annoying. Let's plug in 20 for this one. 3 times 20 squared. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. <coughs> plus 18 times 20 plus 24. The biggest area is going to be about that 1584. So I would say my range would go from 0 to 1584. Maybe I could use a hard bracket here. Maybe Something like that. But there's some, there's some wiggle room. Um, to figure out like what what window would you set for your graph i might go bigger than that so i could see the whole thing um, hopefully that's helpful we'll look at the next bit um in a new video